All right, so this video is part two, basically, of how to um, animate an object bending using a curve modifier. Um, this time I'm going to use hooks, and I'm going to make this one real quick. And so, anyway, let's just get started. All right, so I'm going to take this default cube here, and I'm going to scale it uh, in the Z, and then I'm going to scale it in the X. And then in edit mode, I'm going to uh, make an edge loop here, make another one, like right there. Make an edge loop, roll the mouse wheel, just give it some some resolution here. And then uh, I need to go into the top view in order to use the curve modifier. So I'm going into the top view, and I'm going to rotate the object in the X 90 degrees and hit enter. I'm going to go into orthographic view. And I'm also just going to set the uh, wire and uh, draw all edges there. All right, and uh, I'm going to also create a Bezier curve. and this is basically the same process that, uh, oops, I just scaled that on the, the Z, but I'm in the top view, so uh, S, Y, 0, Enter. All right, so this is really just the same process as uh, the first video, which talks about shape keys, so I'm not going to spend as much time doing all my callouts of my hotkeys and stuff. You can watch that if you need to. Anyway, 90 degrees, negative, Enter. Uh, Go on the Y here, and then so I'm just creating my uh, my curve again. Uh, I'm gonna make it smaller, about like about right there, and also I need to just extrude this up, and then extrude this one in the X. All right, so this is all necessary because we can't. Um, there's just no way to animate a uh, curve with the curve modifier, and so that's why you know for these the reason for these videos is to show the different methods. Okay, so here we go with the hook method. All right, so what we want to do here is um, first of all we want to make this uh, object right here. Want to give it a curve modifier and we want to set it to the Bezier curve and then move this uh, object into place alright looks good alright now what we want to do is we want to uh, go into edit mode here and we've got these control points on this Bezier curve alright and we want to attach an empty to it and we're going to do that by using a hook so there is a modifier right here called the hook modifier. This right here is just an easy way to do this in edit mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both these control points right here and I'm going to hit control H and then I'm going to say hook to a new object which is going to create a new empty in between both of those control points. So there it is right there. All right now what I'm going to do is I want to take this line right here and I want to follow it down and I can actually just use the grid and I can eyeball it and then this one's like right on the line here so what I want to do is just get like right there and then put my 3D cursor okay and set it to uh, the pivot point to the 3D cursor and then with this uh, empty selected right here I'm gonna rotate this I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees like that and so I got it pretty close uh, I'm gonna just uh, raise it oops G Y raise it up just a little bit so it's like right where I want it. Okay. So that's good right there. And um, now basically we're ready to animate, but I want to go ahead, since this whole object is from the top view, I don't want to animate it in the top view. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select everything and say Control G. And then I am going to rotate it in the X 90 degrees like that. Now I'm going to go to the front view and here we have this again. And uh, so I'm going to make my animation uh, 50 frames. All right, I'm going to make sure that I'm at the beginning of it. And I'm going to select this empty right here which is hooked to the control points. And I'm going to press I and I'm going to say location, rotation, and scale. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the very end frame 
and I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees in the negative and that's my very last frame I'm going to hit I location rotation and scale now you're going to see something here when I play this animation back that it kind of does something funky here and so what we need to do now is we need to do an in-between so I'm going to go back here and then since I used 50 frames I'm going to go to the 25th frame right here and then I'm going to just using this hook right here I'm just going to uh, position it to where I would like it to be during uh, the bend so I'll just say right there and then I'm going to press I and do the same thing now I'm going to go back and we're going to have the object bending if you spend more time you know you can get it to look better or whatever but the point is that uh, that's how you would be able to use a hook uh, or an, an empty hooked onto the control points of a curve with the curve modifier in order to animate an object bending. So hopefully that helps and I will move on to the last video which is how to use the animal add-on. Alright, thanks. Bye.